How do you like spicy nacho Doritos? <laughs> Looks like they love that. Yeah. I didn't give them some jalapenos. <laughs> give them some jalapenos. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, the guy that has no food is chasing the other one. There's a lot of other cars for sale. It's Beamer, Subaru, Land Rover, a bunch of interesting stuff and in cars. Ah, poor baby in the junkyard. Maybe, maybe I'll save you, baby. Hold on. W124. Amazing machine. It's crazy. Sweet car. The interior is really nice, except the driver's seat is torn, but man, this thing is awesome. I think the battery's just dead on it, but the battery's still there. This is crazy. This amazing car. Wow. Uh, this is stuck. Oh. is really clean. It's crazy. I hope it has a key. It has a spare too. So, while I was at the junkyard, I got a glass window for it. So, I'm gonna put it in the trunk. Or, yeah, in the trunk. Also, regulator. And I don't know what's gonna happen with this car. I don't know if I can find a space where I can park it so I can quickly fix it up and uh, clean it and resell it. But I'm gonna share with a bunch of people that there's this car here and I'm gonna put these floor mats in there. Look at that. All right, so I put the floor mats in it. Man, this thing is awesome. I, I need to save this car. This is crazy, guys. I need to save this baby. Shoot. How can you throw away such an amazing machine? Shame on you. So I just talked to the, these people not too long ago and uh, they told me to come back because they were understaffed. But apparently they told me that this car uh, was, has been sitting here for a while, but it did start and run. But I just don't know what it needs. So. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to them again. I really wanna see. And they said that they should have a key and everything for it. This car is very clean underneath and everything. You know, it just needs a little bit of cleanup and it's gonna be a great car, mm -hmm. you know? 
So, and like I said, I, I will I will not charge you anything. I will come to your house and help you fix this car up. You know, I know everything about these cars. You know, and I I opened the hood because I was gonna. Uh, they should be bringing the key soon, I think, so we can, you know, start it up. But I think the battery's dead because this was sitting for a while. So we might have to jump the car, you know, yeah. see if it starts up and everything. But I really love these. These are actually inline six. They're actually great, great engines. Um, you just, you know, it's change the oil on time. The, the spark plugs, huh? Yeah, it's easy to change spark plugs. It's, it's easy to do a lot of stuff, you know, that's why it's, it's nice. You know, the headlights, for example, right? It's so easy to get to the back of the headlights to replace the bulbs. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why, you know, they're, they're amazing cars. They don't make the cars like they used to back then, you know? And yeah. I'm just, you know, these are really like, like you can buy these brand new, like the headlight bezels. Like one of them is like $50, a brand new one. It will change the looks of this car and everything, you know? And uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing car, you know? And I'm sad that it's here. So I'm trying to figure something out. And, you know, I don't want this car to go to the junkyard. Like blew my mind right <laughs> Probably never seen that before. No. 90 degrees, huh? Uh, try to prime the key, cycle the key a little bit. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Do you okay? All right. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like there's no gas in it. There's literally no gas. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Start her up like nothing. Like nothing, man. Wow. It's insane. That is insane. What an amazing machine. Crazy Jetska! Hello! Oh, that's crazy. Like, dang, look at that stand, Jetska. Wow. Yeah, Almost stand. like an engine hoist. <laughs> yeah. For my fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm good, Jetska. You know, I got a gift for you. We'll oh, see if yeah. you like it, you oh, know. I got uh, some nahui, some crazy shit, Jetska, for you. Yeah. Look at the turbo. Turbo right there. Crazy turbo. <laughs> Sheesh. Here you go, Jetska. Oh, For you. That? Truck oh, cover. Cool. Here you go. You might need it. It may be useful, you know. Uh, it will be. Because yeah. I'm going to go pick up the, <laughs> the step side yeah. next month. So, for oh, you, Jetska. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Man, that's a big garage. Yeah, it's Dalvin's place. Mm. Crazy like that. Great. Mm, new parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's Jatska working? He's that good. He's just amazing. With a turbina over yeah. there. He's, he's putting turbina back together. Turbina. Turbina. <laughs> so turbina does bambioshka. <laughs> That's good doing God's work. So he had all this stuff out, was cleaning everything, painting, 
there was a bunch of oil sludge everywhere and mainly had it out because he had some uh exhaust leaks and whatnot so in the meantime at the same time he replaced everything uh rebuilt the turbo and all that you know so it's a lot of work but he's he's that good <laughs> Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> back up. Uh, normally he jumps backwards. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> He's that good. <laughs> all right guys good morning uh, you will not believe what's going on but this is crazy uh, i've made so many posts online on facebook and everywhere uh, about this car and a lot of people were actually interested in this car but nobody uh jumped in everybody was like kind of sketched out and stuff like that and everything so uh, I called the pick and pull uh, yesterday and found out that uh, they're going to be crushing the car on Friday. Today is Wednesday and I got to go and pick up this car. Uh, the other dude uh, who was trying to pick it up yesterday, he didn't have enough money, uh, so he couldn't pick it up. And uh, yeah, it's just, it really sucks, you know. I'm going to go and pick up the car right now and I was talking to a good... Uh, a friend of mine, new enthusiast, Ricky, if you're watching it, Ricky, you know, thank you so much. Uh, Ricky's going to provide me a space for that amazing machine and everything. So it's going to be awesome. Long story short, what's going to happen is, uh, well, I brought a bunch of uh, tools with me and the tire pump and everything because those tires are flat on that car. So I have to pump them up and I have to put some gas in it. Uh, Ricky's going to bring a gas can as well. And then in about a month, that's how long I'm going to stay here. In about a month, uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm planning to drive that car back to Washington. It's gonna go to an amazing state of Washington where it's gonna have an amazing life, you know, and it's gonna be away from all this BS desert uh, where it shouldn't be. For those of you who still don't really know what's going on, I'm gonna remind you that uh, there's a 1989 Mercedes W124 uh, at the junkyard and they've been selling it apparently since March and the price of that car back then was even like 30 I think they were asking 3500 for it uh, before that and right now they're asking 1100 and it's gonna be probably uh, around two thousand dollars to buy that car and unfortunately they said they're not gonna go down on price that's their final price and if not then they're gonna put it for parts and that's gonna be a big big shame I gotta go jump on that car and buy it uh, no other way uh, i'm not gonna let the car go to scrap so uh it's just sad because a lot of people there's a lot of locals and stuff and a lot of locals will int were interested in this car but nobody actually went there looked at it or tried to buy it they were like oh yeah i'm interested and a lot of people were asking oh how much like is it gonna pass smog is it gonna does, does it have a lot of does it have oil leaks and you know i'm gonna tell you right now if you're from california i don't know how you live in california uh, one dude is, you know, tried to tell me that, oh, there's a lot of, there's a good, uh, you know, quality air in California. I'm like, excuse me, I live in Washington State. We don't have that much BS in Washington. And I love Washington State. And I can tell you right now that Washington State air quality is a lot cleaner than California, all right? So I don't get what you're saying. Uh, if you're not a true, true enthusiast, don't waste my time asking if there's oil leaks. Yeah, there's going to be some oil leaks and seepage, uh, you know, under that engine. So don't be wasting my time, uh, you know, asking me stupid questions. But long story short, I'm just, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to, I'm telling you guys, I'm just driving there. I'm an hour away from that junkyard and I'm going to pick up that car. Uh, Ricky's going to meet, meet me over there at the junkyard and he lives like 10 minutes away from it. So I'm going to buy that car. I'm going to drive it to his place and, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it there for now. And then I'll come back and I'll start doing some work on it, prepping it for a road trip to Washington state. And for those of you who live in California, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I am really sorry that you live in California. You need to get out of there ASAP. 
and I, I personally I don't have anything against California but I would never ever never ever in my life live in that state I've been there before I've seen everything I've tried everything I'm, I'm good <laughs> you know but you know you don't have to tell me and complain about smog and that your car is 1975 or 1976 and they still require smog it's because you chose to be in that state nobody else all right so i mean i i can't i don't know how to help you and how to do whatever you know uh, i mean if you're not if you're not a mechanic i mean it's it's gonna be probably hard for you you know you're gonna have to spend some money on fixing the car but you know, if you don't want to do that, then just drive Toyota Corolla for the rest of your life. I'm sorry. All right, guys, we are at the pick and pull and I'm waiting for them to open up. The Benz is sitting somewhere right here, I think. Let's see. Oh, very close. It's E46 right there. So, so I'm just waiting right now. Uh, still 30 minutes till they open up. I came a little early, but it's better to be early than late. All right, the guy is coming, so I'm gonna start it up. Oil filter is up here. Yep, oil filter is literally right over there. Yeah, you see how they didn't take care of it? The brake fluid is all dirty and everything. And any reason why this happened? What this? Yeah. Oh, that's just uh, this yeah, is the hood. The, this is this. There used to be a hood pad right here. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a factory hood yeah, pad. They had, it. and it just disintegrated. That's it. Yeah. Like they sell new hood line. pads. They they sell new hood pads for like I don't know forty fifty same dollars. Thing the line and the guy's like, do you know if it has been in a fire? Yeah. No. Yeah. But the belt is good on it. Like yeah, shit, man. Clean. Like, no like it's easy to work on this too. Like, yeah. look how much space Everything you got. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, people do that. On these engines yeah. will take the turbo. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. People do that. Yeah. What an amazing machine. 188,000 miles. It's literally like nothing for this car, you know? Yeah. I've driven I've driven from Chicago to California then from California to Washington state uh in a 1981 Mercedes 300 SD. It's a, the same type yeah. of car like yours, the S class, but it's a diesel in like 5. It had a 445,000 miles. Jeez. Yeah, that's God how amazing really. they are, you know. We put some gas in it. Come on. There she is. Amazing machine. Okay. So I'm gonna let it run and I wanna pump up the tires, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then if they can get ready with the paperwork, because I'm probably gonna buy it for sure, for sure, you know? Sure, like, yeah, because I was here a couple days ago and okay. everything, you know? Huh? Sweet. This fuel gauge doesn't work. It's okay. So 
So this tire is trash. So we're gonna put the spare on. It's not holding air because it's been a uh, flat for a long time. It's running. Temperature is good. Fuel gauge came alive. Sketchy. Yeah. Sure, thank you, thank you. You know why it went? It has a hole because it was flat for a long time. Yeah, Oh, brakes are not bad. Oh, yeah, nice <sighs> Tie rods are kind of trashed. I think we might have to go higher and to clear. Yeah, we'll see. Enough to get us out of here. Yeah. These, this side is all pumped up. Take this thing off. And the fuel gauge is working now. A few moments later. All right guys, we picked up the car. Amazing machine. I'm driving it back right now. What a legendary car. She's really filthy. I gotta clean her up. All right, guys, so we're driving this amazing car on the highway. Can barely see anything. Uh, but we're about 10 minutes away from Ricky's place. And there's still all the stickers here. I have to do a bunch of cleanup on this car. But she's doing all right so far, so good, thank God. Almost there, about five minutes left and we'll be home. Changing the window. Regulator and glass here. This is actually pretty bad too, the regulator. So we'll change both and I have to start cleaning all this stuff up right here from all the glass pieces. And my amazing friend Ricky is cleaning up all this trash from this fender and everything. So yeah, slowly but surely this car is gonna be amazing. And there's the door panel, all intact, nothing, no clips, no hooks broken, amazing. We'll get to cleaning the engine bay sometime soon. They actually gave me a, a good used battery for it as well. Okay, that's cool.